Nino, the restaurant's named after you. What's your role? The, the person that's always been in charge was my dad. And then when, when he developed his Alzheimer's, I stepped up in this business. Wow. What do you mean? I, I get here early. I, I do uh, the remedial things as janitorial, Good. vacuuming, cleaning of all these plates, and cleaning the restrooms, scrubbing the toilets, washing the patio. That's just from 8 until about 4, maybe. Weekends, usually, I'll come in for uh, extensive cleaning. Sounds like you do a lot of cleaning. Cleaning? What are you talking about? The restaurant is a mess. <laughs> Take away the cleaning. What else do you do? Karina, um, help me out. There's no key person. There's no one really directing the kitchen on how the portion should be, how the quality needs to be consistent. You know, you need to be working in the kitchen. When I worked here I, and Mike worked here, we jumped in the kitchen. They don't want me in there. Who? The chefs. The chefs? They're very adamant about uh, uh, keeping that kitchen to themselves. It sounds like you put over a barrel now. It's like everybody's kind of running the restaurant. I thought Nino was running it. <laughs> <laughs> not really, no. That's not true. But Nino's here. But Nino isn't here. He's here at lunch. So he doesn't run dinner. Are you here for dinner? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand why you're not here. Lunch and dinner. It's something my mom and I are constantly frustrated so, with. Nino's doing everything half-assed. And so Mike and I have to come in, help the family. Wow, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It irritates the crap out of me. He spends a lot of time sitting down with customers. I mean, not just visiting, promoting the business, sitting down and talking for long periods of time in the middle of lunch. And he's the only restaurant manager I think you'll find anywhere that has lunch at lunchtime. He spends a lot of time in the office watching TV. This is not even true. He's not it's here. Not at eight, he's not here at <laughs> 8 in the morning when I get here. Why would I come here at 8 in the morning? That's a fantasy. I watch TV. The television here is 40 years old, and I have uh, high def at home with all the all the channels I need. Why wouldn't I just stay there? So I get you here. Tell people you're working because nobody's here, so you can say whatever you're doing, right? Stretching the truth. It is not. <laughs> My brother never tells the truth. Ah, so coming a, from a pathological liar, I take I, that as a compliment. He thinks I'm I'm some kind of nut because I, I I'm in a recovery program. But I'm not. That. It has and nothing I, to do with that. You're just he, a liar. He thinks we're all a, living in a fantasy world, according I never to him. No. I think you're in a fantasy world by the way you act here. My honest feeling it is he doesn't do crap here. He does a lot of sin. I'm talking. He makes everybody believe he does crap. Just like last night, he ran up to every table and said, hello, my name's Nino. That's not true. Nino, please. Would you let me talk? Mr. O was talking. I see that all the time. And that's why I kind of stay back from here, because I love this damn restaurant. And to see it just being Run down drives me freaking crazy. To my opinion, he doesn't do crap. My mom will admit it, my dad will admit it, my sister will admit it, but I will come out and say it passionately. Doesn't do crap. I want everybody to know that I'm here for everybody, anytime. You can't have the damn customer right. You can't take it or you can't bring back drinks right, let alone help the yeah, customers. Yeah. Okay, when get inside, you do get inside, get inside, get inside. You're useless. You're useless.